Hello everyone, this is Matthew from the Outer Haven. I'm here to give you guys a quick rundown about my impressions of playing Sable by Shen's works. And I think it's a really good game for what it is. I think it's very interesting of how it deals with interesting story elements of self-accusation, to find your place in the world, that you're living a life that you're choosing to doing. And this open world adventure is really, really good. One thing I can just not comp with the game is the art direction of the game is just beautiful. I really, really enjoy it. Cannot go around about it. And the soundtrack is done by an amazing group, Japanese Prefix. If you guys don't know what, who these guys are about, besides they're doing great music, I would highly recommend you look up their one of their one of my favorite tracks they've done. So as of today is Be Sweet. Just type it in, Japanese Prefix, Be Sweet. It's an amazing track if you're into that type of music. I definitely cannot speak highly enough about the band. So what is Sable? I guess I'll describe Sable as a exploration Zelda type game with objectives. The game doesn't do much to like interface you to do things, but you're exploring a world because of, you know, reasons. I'm not gonna spoil it. Sable, the main character, which the game is made out of, is generally trying to find her place based on her story, knowing about the gliding, uh, the rite of passage. It's like, you know, you become a, you become an adult, you do this thing, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. It's like the same thing as a comparison I would describe the ideas like a rite of passage getting older. Think of it if you played other games like in a uh, little tangent here. If you played Mass Effect, you know, the Quarians, those cool people, Tally, you know, best girl. Her rite of passage where her people have a, a thing where they leave their home ship and then they find something and bring it back to the society and it benefits everybody. So it's all pretty cool. The game does a really excellent job of like making you feel this exploration of becoming sable and exploring your place in the world the game's pacing is pretty beautiful it doesn't feel overbearing it doesn't feel crazy but you feel a part of this world the art direction the lighting of the game with jesse knight's really cool the platforming is very fun and i just kind of just feel like i could just drive off into the sunset in my motorbike forever you can upgrade that bike too which is really cool so i can't speak enough praises of it but I think it's very interesting what the game does. And if I want to discuss more about the game, the game seems to be in a world where a, per a former civilization, or no spoilers here, a you're living in the future where the civilization may have collapsed and you're living a, a pop the, uh, the collapse of it and you're using what's like from former spaceships and things about it to survive. Like, hey, that steering wheel could be used as, you know, a dish to feed people. I better take that steering wheel, you know? got to do what you got to do to survive just an idea but i think it's really cool too if you this is a game that if you pay a lot of attention to what's going on you get engrossed in it like i have just learning the logs of captains who, of the people who've been there from the former pilots or of these temples of what these quote unquote temples of what they were and the artifacts and things that there i think this guy's a really interesting world building and story it's very rich in how it's kind of moves things along and it's also pretty cool, too. You're not just running by yourself. You've run into other people in the society. You run into other nomads. You run into other groups of people, what they want to do with their society going forward. And the puzzles in this game are pretty kind of unique. Not the, They're not all the best and all but it's a very nice experience. This game has such a chill and amazing vibe to it that I can't speak highly of. It's definitely a game I would recommend people who are stressing a game they can't beat or they're not having fun with. Like, I just, ugh! I hate Valorant! I hate Overwatch! I hate this! Blah blah blah! Pop in some Sable and enjoy a chill journey for about an hour or two. You just have a good time. And this game can't do any more of that. So if you guys are looking to pick up this game, this game is available for Xbox Series X and PC. And you will be able to pick it up on September 23rd, 2021. I definitely recommend it for everyone getting a chance to try the game out any way they can. It's definitely a fun experience. And the publisher of the game is Raw Fury. If you guys don't know, Raw Free published a bunch of great games, such as Dead of West and one of my favorite roguelikes of all time, Star Renegades. They're a great publisher that does that. And Shenworks, I can't give them nothing but credit for the entire team making this game the way it is. I have played a lot of open world games before, but never played open world games just, just this level of chill, at least in a long time. It feels like I'm engrossed in this journey of becoming Sable, learning her world through existence, rather than like, I have to save, I have to go be the hero and smash the bro, chill, just have an adventure, learn who you are. And the game doesn't kind of impede you. It just feels like take it at your pace and you'll get there when you get there, you know? But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my impressions of Sable. Check it out when you get a chance, and I'll see you guys in the next one.